Good crowd. Normally there are bachelorette parties that come to these comedy shows. Are there any here tonight? Thank Christ. All right. No, they're the worst. They come and they always want to sit in the front and they get wasted. They start to heckle. They yell shit out. And as a comic, you're like, look, girls, just shut the fuck up, okay? What is this, a bachelorette party? And then the drunkest girl, she'll turn into the spokesperson. Watch her. She'll go, ha, 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 ha. How'd you know, asshole? How'd you know? I'm like, leave well, a hat with a big giant dick sticking out of the side of it. And that was my first clue, sweet tits. Is that your normal attire on a Wednesday, a giant dildo hanging from your forehead? <laughs> Fuck you, we're gonna go dancing. <laughs> That's the next move. You girls go out with your hooker friends and you dance and you dance. And the more they drink, the closer they dance with each other. And guys, if you wait long enough, you'll see some magical shit. Trust me, stick around. Because the more they drink, the closer they dance. And before you know it, girls will just make out with each other. I love you, Lisa. Aww. And you're there with your guy friends like, holy shit, look at this over here. And then the drunkest girl, she'll turn to the spokesperson again. What are you looking at, asshole? What the fuck are you looking at? I'm like, you're licking your friend's nipple, okay? And I'm always good to look at that. I'm just a guy, it's what we do. Fuck you, we're just friends, we're just dancing. And that's funny, because they'll never see me and Polly go out like, hey, what's up, Polly? how's it going? Yeah, I love his song. Let me slap your ass a couple times, Polly. How's that? Let me jerk you off, Polly. You like the way that feels? Whoa, what's up, bitches? What are you staring at? Just slow dance my man Paulie over here, right? Like to rest my head on his shoulder. We danced to Kenny G the whole night. Those days of jerking Paulie off are over, ladies and gentlemen. I paid my dues. <laughs> no, I'm married now, so you, that's like against the rules or something. I don't know. If you're thinking about getting married, you better start saving your money, okay? Because everything is expensive. Every little thing, even the little things like wedding invitations. You know how much they cost? I went to this place in Beverly Hills called Sulip, and if anybody here works there, or maybe you know someone that works there, go fuck yourself, all right? <laughs> Biggest rip off I've ever seen in my life. I went there, and I go, I need 120 wedding invitations for 200 people. This lady pulled out a calculator. Now immediately, bells are going off in my head. I'm going, if she needs a calculator, we're in for some serious shit. But then she looks at me with a dead straight face, like it's completely normal, and she goes, that's gonna be $4,000, sir. I swear to God, yeah. I go, let me tell you something, bitch. Because at that point, formalities are out the window. Say whatever you want. Bitch, slut, sweet tits, you're not buying them. So just say it, it makes you feel better. I go, for $4,000, how about I do this? How about I buy a bald eagle off of eBay and train that thing to fly an invitation into everyone's goddamn house all across this great country of ours? Have you heard of the internet, bitch? One button, send. Everyone gets an evite for free. You may want to rethink your prices a little bit. I'm on MySpace. That's ridiculous though, right? $4,000 for what? Paper with shit written on, that's all it is. Has anyone ever opened up a wedding invitation and gone, oh, this would look lovely on my wall? No, you open it up, you go, am I going or am I not going? You throw it in the garbage. That's a waste of money right there. For that kind of money, I could have bought Hallmark cards and stuff, 35 bucks cash in each one. You open that up, you're like, oh shit, cash? Yeah, I'm going to this fucking thing. They may have donkey rides or pinatas. Cirque du Soleil, Pauly Shore might be hanging out in the back. Who knows, man? This guy's giving away cash. So after marriage, then comes the babies. I guess, yeah, I know, babies. It's crazy. My wife is just, we just had a baby about a week ago. It was amazing for her, I guess. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. I don't even know how it happened. I really don't know how it, because let me tell you something, guys, and I'm sure these guys are animals, too. I, I don't know how this whole thing, because I used to be the best there ever was at pulling out. Okay? I was the best. That, I'm telling you right now, if pulling out was an Olympic event, I would be the Michael Phelps of pulling out, ladies and gentlemen. There wouldn't be a record. I wouldn't, you could put me in a raft in the middle of the ocean. I'd still be like, ah, to the side. There it is. Ha-ha. You want it? Pick it up with your hands. No, but now we have this kid, and it, I'm so, it's like a little boy, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to raise him and make him a better person. I, it just I, it makes you think about your relationship with your dad, you know? Like I started thinking about my, I got into, uh, this thought the other day about my dad and I's first argument. I was about eight years old, and I don't know if you guys did this, but around that age, I used to think that I owned my room. Like my room was my shit and no one else could bother me in my room. I f you forget your parents own the whole house. So I got into an argument with my dad, I'm like, you know what, forget you. I went to my room and I slammed the door on his face. Now I didn't see my dad. I just saw the screws from the door coming off the hinges. The man took the whole door off the hinges, went downstairs, sawed it in half, and then screwed the bottom half on. So for the rest of my life, I had one of those little swing doors like this. Yeah, 
I should have been selling cell phones and snicker bars out of this little kiosk I had. <laughs> Every once in a while, he stick his head in. You like your room now, asshole? Yeah. Try to jerk off. Have fun. <laughs> I got him back, though. I got him back. I was 15 years old. I just sat there like this. He was like, oh, my God. What did you... <laughs> Anybody on dates here just dating? Anyone just did one date in the back? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> You may be dating a woman, okay? And she's not gonna tell you when she wants to move in, all right? She's just gonna slowly invade your shit like Germany, all right? Every day you're gonna find new stuff at your house. You're gonna find a toothbrush, then an iPod, then a pair of sneakers, and then one day all your shit's gonna be gone. I used to have my own stuff, posters on the wall. One day I came home, they were gone. Replaced with wicker hearts and sconces with candles. And if you know what the word sconce means, you're either gay or you're fucked, one or the other. Sconces hold candles. I have 48 candles in a two-bedroom house. Someone explain that shit to me. I go, look at this, sweetheart. This is a light switch. I pay the bill every goddamn month. We don't need a cathedral in here, okay? But she goes to bed early, and it's my job to put them out. I'm like an altar boy at the end of the night, putting out all the candles. Explain that joke to the Jews, people. Go to your bedroom. That's not yours anymore. When I lived alone, I used to have one pillow in my bed. One. It had brown stains on it, and I folded it four times and put it behind my head. Don't ew me, bitches. I miss that pillow. You know why? Because I have 14 goddamn pillows on my bed right now, and no human being needs 14 pillows to sleep. Trust me, I Googled that shit. Paraplegics need three at the most, okay? One for their head and two for their little legs. That's all they need. But the worst part is she goes to work early in the morning, and guess whose job it is to make the bed? This guy right over here, yeah. And this shit's gotta be done right. I'm sweating at 11.30 in the morning trying to remember where the unicorn pillow goes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm watching Maury Povich trying to figure out whose baby it is. Is it Darnell's baby or Laquan's baby? I'm not sure whose baby it is. It's got Laquan's eyes, but it could go either way in my mind. And then she comes home. You guys will learn every day they come home. There's not a day when my wife doesn't come home. Sometimes I sit at home going, maybe she fucking won't come home today. And then she comes walking through the door. And there she is. And that's when the talking and the communication back and forth happens. Yeah, you have no idea, guys. You're young. You don't even know how much they talk. You still have boners. So you're like, I'll listen to anything they say. No, my wife comes home, she, and I'll be sitting on the couch. And she'll ask me, how was your day? You know, shit. And then you do the mistake. You go, how was your day? And guess what? You're going to hear the goddamn answer. She tells me stories about people I don't even know who the fuck she's talking about. And then Lisa said this to Eleanor and Eleanor. I go, I don't know who you're talking about, but you gotta pay attention because it's a quiz at the end and if you don't know the answers, you don't get the good shit. You know what I'm saying? My wife, she just talks and talks. She stares at me now to make sure I'm listening to every word that comes out of her mouth. She just looks at me. I want to be an actress. I'm not even a model. What are you watching? Sports Center. What are you gonna watch next? The same goddamn Sports Center. <laughs> Comes on every hour. It's gotten to the point, I'm a comic, okay? I get home late from work, I admit this, but I will leave here tonight and I will have to sneak into my very own bed, praying that I don't ruffle the sheets too much. Because if I do, boom, she's right at my feet on my back and I hate my job, I hate my life. Do you love me? Do you love me? Tell me you love me. So now I just think she's like a T-Rex. If I don't move, she can't see me. <laughs> or I say, do you want to have sex? And then <laughs> right to sleep. Those are the magic words. You want to have sex? No, let's just spoon. Yeah, let me hold an erection for eight hours. That sounds like fun for everybody. <laughs> Argue about crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. We don't spend enough quality time together. Where's all the quality time? Let me tell you what quality time is, sir. I'll tell you what quality time is. It's time together where you just talk and stare at each other like idiots. Yeah. I go, we sleep together for eight hours a night. That's a third of my day. How much time do you need, woman? My wife joined us up for a dual gym membership, which means we have to go to the gym together and work out. You know what kind of hell that is as a man? The other day, I'm at the gym, I'm on the treadmill, I'm walking straight ahead, I'm not bothering anyone. Got my iPod on, it's just me time. She gets on the treadmill next to me, she starts walking. Fine, there she is. About two minutes in, I just feel her reaching for my hand. She's reaching for, I go, what the fuck? She goes, I just wanna hold hands. I'm like, on a fucking treadmill, are you serious? I'm on peaks and valleys right now, babe. Let's wait till they get down to the planes. It's bad enough you bought us these matching purple jumpsuits. I'm not holding your goddamn hand on a treadmill. I got Juicy written across my ass. I gotta draw a line somewhere. I'm 
telling you right now, guys. I have a life where I'm gonna go home tonight and play my favorite game, and I'm sure some of you in here have done this before. The game is called Try to Jerk Off Without Getting Caught. Has anyone ever played this game before? Anyone, you have? Yeah, all of you filthy animals have. The bottom line is, she's catching me all the time. Now, ma'am, ma are you with this gentleman over here? No? Okay, you should, for the purposes of this, have you ever caught him jerking off? It would be really weird if you said yes right now, because that would be the strangest thing. All right, have you ever walked into a room where he is, okay, by himself, and he just jumps up and starts answering questions you didn't even fucking ask? Has that ever happened? Yeah, well then maybe you've caught him. Welcome to the club. And don't feel bad, he's a filthy animal. Every guy in this room is, okay? If you had sex with your husband or your boyfriend for 23 hours a day, do you know what they'd be doing that 24th hour? They'd be touching themselves and thinking of crazy shit. It's the truth, my wife won't let me donkey punch her. I don't know why. But up here, I can donkey punch anyone I want. Up here, I'm pounding away. There's midgets going in at the doors, ice cream trucks. I love ice cream. But I get caught. So I came up with a new plan. Here's how it works now. Now, I just do it, okay? And if she walks in and catches me, I look at her and I go, hey. <laughs> you're either in or you're out. What do you want to do? <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night.